Bobby Campbell of San Francisco and Billy Walker of New York both suffer from a mysterious newly discovered disease which affects mostly homosexual men, but has also been found in heterosexual men and women. Public health enemy number one. Because of uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. to lift the shroud of silence which has been draped over the issue of HIV and AIDS. I have come tonight to bring our silence to an end. It came as a shock to sports fans, to everyone. I do have AIDS. But experts today agreed. When Greg Luganis was wounded at the 88 Olympics, there was almost no chance the virus could have spread to other swimmers in the pool. But the doctor who stitched Luganis without wearing gloves could have been at risk, though he's since tested negative. recommendation today from the Centers for Disease Control. It has to do with AIDS testing. They're saying an AIDS test should be a routine part of a doctor's visit for every American starting at age 13. We will have a vaccine, but it will not be a vaccine that anybody can feel 100% protected. So I have to be honest with you, there just is not a crisp yes or no answer. The level of new HIV infections in the United States was higher than had been previously known. In fact, approximately 40% higher than early estimates in the 90s and in the early 2000s. The AIDS epidemic in black community uh, it continues to be out of control. You know, uh, Our house is on fire and we need to figure out how to put that fire out. It's a step that will encourage people to get tested and get treatment. It's a step that will keep families together and it's a step that will save lives.